Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Bell, co-project lead of LEGO Star Wars 3, and all of us here at LucasArts are really excited to be showing you the next big step in the series, which we think is going to be the best LEGO Star Wars game ever. The Clone Wars are all about massive battles, and we've put that into the game. So let me show you my favorite feature, the massive ground battles. First thing we're gonna do is build our first base using the force. You're gonna be able to build all sorts of different things, everything from barracks to dropships that bring in giant vehicles. The first thing we're gonna build is a cannon. So jumping into our speeder bike here, we're gonna build our first structure. Just as simple as pressing the button, we build our cannon. Switch over to Ahsoka here, jump right into the cannon and we're gonna be able to destroy that wall to the north. Now that that barricade is destroyed, I'm gonna jump right back into my speeder bike and take it over the hill to attack our first enemy base. By destroying enemy bases, we're gonna actually be able to take those bases over for ourselves. So we're gonna go over here, jump out, and build a small air support pad. I don't know why, but my favorite is the ATRT. He runs around, he shoots stuff, you get from point A to point B really quickly. I like him. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna jump out, use my Jedi Slam to take out a bunch of these droids at once and they're gonna all run away. Then I'm gonna jump back in, run across the battlefield, take out a bunch of droids on the way, maybe stomp on a few right here. Something that's really cool that I can do is take over enemy structures. I'm using Ahsoka, she's going to take this cannon to its knees and then I can take it over and use it against its own base. Now it's not all about offense in ground battles, it's also how you protect yourself. Here the enemies have put up a giant energy shield and you can't get through using vehicles. So we're gonna go in there, deactivate it by hand, and then we can bring in our vehicles and our troops to destroy it. It's not just vehicles that you can build. You can actually call in your friends to help you out. Here we're gonna build a barracks and we're gonna have these guys follow us across the battlefield. And then as simple as holding down a button, we can have them attack this cannon. Now you see that the blaster fire is coming out so quickly, that actually acts as a rapid fire weapon, which is the only way to destroy what we call gold Lego. Okay, enough with this little stuff. Let's bring in the big daddy, the ATAP Walker. Now with energy shields, ray shields, gold and silver Lego, you're gonna need to use strategy to be able to defeat each one of these items. With gold Lego, you're gonna need a rapid fire weapon or a battalion of troops to destroy. With Silver Lego, you're gonna need an explosive weapon or a massive tank. One of the best things about the ATAP Walker is that it has a cannon right on the front, so it's gonna be able to destroy enemy structures quickly and even Silver Lego. Now think of everything that you just saw here, and that's just one of the 20 different environments that you're gonna be able to play in single player, co-op, and even player versus player. You're gonna be able to beat up on your friends like never before in giant ground battles. I hope that you're as excited about these ground battles as I am. LEGO Star Wars 3 is coming to you this March 2011. Thank you for watching.